Today I have a video that literally nobody asked for. <laughs> Uh, a couple days ago, I tweeted on Twitter uh, that I wanted to talk about the Met Gala, and even though that has nothing to do with this channel, um, some people said that, th that they would actually click into that video. So here we are. What is my channel at this point? Really don't know. But right now, we have pulled up the Vogue website. We're about to look at the Met Gala 2021, uh, which is probably like a week ago by the time this video goes up, and I'm just gonna give you all my thoughts on the outfits, um, because there were some looks here that I feel like need to be addressed. Okay, but before we get into like the looks, I actually kind of want to research what even is the Met Gala. I heard that the Met Gala was a fundraiser. Beyond me, literally did not know that. <laughs> the Met Gala, formerly called the Costume Institute Gala or the Costume Institute Benefit and also known as the Met Ball, who calls it that? It's an, an annual fundraising gala for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City. It marks the opening of the Costume Institute's annual fashion exhibit. So how does the Met Gala even make money? While the ball is generally co-chaired by Vogue Editor-in-Chief Anna Wintour, she took the role of honorary co-chair for the 2021 event alongside a handful of celebrities and public figures such as B Billie Eilish, Timothy Chamillet, Naomi Osaka, okay, pop off, and Amanda Gorman. When Anna Winter began running the event back in 1995, individual tickets were priced at just a thousand, a thousand dollars? So like, the, do they have to pay to get in? As per the Associated Press, tickets to the Met Gala cost at least $30,000. So do you have to be invited? I mean, you obviously have to be invited. You can't just show up with $30,000. The cut reports that between 500 and 600 people attend the event each year, resulting in a minimum of 15 million possible dollars to be made. While stars are often given invites by Winter herself, it's also very common for a brand to host attendees to buy pricey tables at the gala. I learned something new today. Hopefully you did too. Um, but now let's get into these outfits. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, we have Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. Uh, ASAP Rocky looked like he just strolled out of his grandmama's basement. <laughs> that I know that came from some old lady's couch. This is giving me very up vibes, very my grandmother knitted this to me. <laughs> also, the theme of the night was supposed to be in America, right? Yes, the theme is American independence. This is giving me very my grandma, so not sure how that's fitting of the theme. He wore a quilt. Rihanna, on the other hand, okay, Rihanna, it looks great, honestly, in anything. She could wear a trash bag and still be hot, but love the makeup. Uh, and I don't hate her look. Still don't know why this is in America um, or how this represents American independence. Not my favorite look on her, but uh, the jewelry is really doing something for her. Okay, so this is Natalia Bryant and Connor Ives. Now, Natalia Bryant, she is very well spoken. She seems like a really kind person. Um, but girl, this is not my favorite look, girl, okay? She's stunning, don't get me wrong. Um, the hair is giving me very like hairspray vibes. <laughs> very Snooky-esque. I don't know how this how this gives America. I don't know. This is giving me like 1960s. Um, I do like the earrings, the pop of color in the earrings, her dress. It's a very interesting shape. I'm wondering how she got into this. I like the colorfulness, giving me kind of Willy Wonka, the homie that like uh, ate the, who like became like a balloon. Who was that? I don't know, but it's giving me kind of Willy Wonka vibes. Oh, her shoes are cute though. I like those. Normani, okay, sis. So this is really a look right here. I love the yellow. The yellow looks fantastic. I like the jewelry. The makeup looks good. Uh, I like how this dress is flowy and like snatched just in the right places. Uh, I will say though, I don't like the hair. I feel like this outfit would look really good with like long flowy hair, even like a cool like afro to give, to like draw attention to like how powerful this outfit looks, even though I know her stylist did not ask, <laughs> but everything else looks great. I've always wondered for these type of outfits, like what are you holding your boobs up with? I mean, I know they're like celebrity stylists, they have stuff, like it can't just be boob tape like or nipple tape. I don't know. That's something I've always I've always been curious about. Because if a shirt is too complicated, like if I have to do like gymnastics to get into it, I'm I'm not putting it on. I'm not buying it. <laughs> Next. So this is Rosé of Blackpink. Um I'm sorry, K-pop fans. I have not listened to a Blackpink song before. Um but 
Hmm, what do I think about this outfit? I still don't think this is really on theme. <laughs> I don't think any of them have really been on theme to me. I do like the accessories. The accessories look cool. I like how she went with the black and white vibe. Very kind of classic. Those shoes, girl, I don't know how you don't fall on those shoes. It's not a terrible outfit. I just don't enjoy it. It's okay. Emily Ratajowski, Ratowski and Vera Wang. I have never learned how to pronounce her name. I apologize. So she's coming through with like the very, you know, sexy, like fiery red color. Okay, I see that. I like this on her neck piece. That the low key could be a pillow though. You get tired in the Met Gala. Night, night. I don't know, I like the lace. It kind of looks like daytime lingerie turned into Met Gala ball fashion. So Jordan Alexander and Christopher Rogers. Again, don't know who these people are. I do like how this person on the left, how they're like very colorful. Again, this, I feel like a lot of these outfits look like people are wearing sheets. <laughs> who is this? Quana Chasing Horse. I don't know who this person is, but they look really good. I like the gold the it looks very elegant very chic and i like the um different accessories they have on like it's kind of a lot but it kind of goes i don't know it's like a lot on purpose oh jackie girl i didn't know he was in here jackie 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 <laughs> i saw this on instagram and i didn't know if she actually went to the met, ga met gala or if she was just posting a picture but anyways that's cool she's giving me i like the hot pink vibes i like how that she has like the slit with the dress it's very flowy and then she has the like hot pink like accent underneath and i like how she matched it with her shoes that looks good also girl what is that tattoo girl that must have hurt that's like upper thigh outer coochie but the decorative swan pink swan piece i like it yeah jackie you look good oh this person looks good who is this paloma ellis lanesser and zach posen really like the dress really like you know the ruby red color her nails look real good i like the way her ring looks i love the makeup and i like the little waves up front in her hair this is giving me very like classy american vibes jack harlow and tommy hilfiger um boring this is the met gala please come with something more interesting uh, Channing Tatum, boring, even more boring. Kiki Lane and Ashton Sanders. I do like the different like patterns on his suit. I like how it's like outlined in like the navy blue and then like the main colors, the pastels. I like the flowers and the butterflies, that looks good. Uh, I like, you know, um, effort. I'm giving you points for like a different looking suit, you know? I, I appreciate that. The person on the left, I can't really see their dress very well. So I'm not really gonna comment on it, but it has cool like detailing. You look like you went to a ball. I appreciate that. Jeremy Pope and Janet Mock. Um, first of all, dude, homie on the left, where is y your clothes? Why are you, <laughs> it looks like your outfit is falling off. I know that's probably how it's supposed to look, but it just looked loose in all the wrong places. And why he got this like corset in the middle though. Anyways, Janet on the other hand, I like how it's different, has different flows and different textures. I like the periwinkle like slip underneath as well. I think that looks like, a, that's like a cool outfit. All right, next, India Moore in Saint Laurent. Ooh, I, re I actually really like this look. I don't know, I like how it's like the, she's wearing a, like a play suit underneath, has like the deep v-neck. I like the texture of like the velvet on the belt piece. That looks cool, the accessories look good. I love the tattoos, how they come through. And the cape piece, it's like flowy in the right way. Like this is how you do fabric sheets. So it doesn't look like bed sheets. Oh, this person looks good. Who is this? Haley Steinfeld. I like her outfit. I like how and she looks like a fairy almost. I like how it's almost like blending into her skin. That's kind of cool. Um, ooh. I like this one. Okay, Kalani. I think this looks real good. I like how she coordinated her face mask to the two-piece. I do like how she wore a two-piece. She's switching it up. I like the pants. I like the little like jacket piece. I can see like her tattoos underneath. I feel like tattoos are like accessories. So I like how, you know, she got that going on. I like the two-toned hair. Makeup looks good. Accessories look good. I'm doing 10 out of 10. I really like this. Oh my God. You see this girl's eyes? How do you even... See, okay, contacts scare me in general, like just normal contacts. 
I couldn't even imagine putting in color contacts and then like looking like that. Oh my god. Okay, Kid Cudi. I remember seeing posts about Kid Cudi and Frank Ocean, how they both came with the same, you know, neon green dyed hair. Um, Kid Cudi, you are wearing very many things at once. I Okay, I like how the colors are coordinated. I appreciate that. We got the neon green um, and the blue. His pants look like he's wearing a raincoat. Where do you get those, Taylor? We got the pink watch. I swear I owned that when I was 10. And then the chain, is that an astronaut? It's very interesting take on like street style. Uh, again, appreciate he didn't just come and base something basic. Not my favorite look though. Rosalia and Rick Owens, right? Yes. Okay, this is actually giving me American vibes. Look, she got like the long cape. She has the fringe. It's giving me like cowboy, cowgirl, futuristic vibes. Like she combined two decades or two time periods. I actually kind of like this. Zoe Kravitz, girl, how do you even like keep that together? That is so easy to have like... <laughs> <laughs> to accidentally flash somebody. I don't know who this is, but this is giving me very child carrier vibes. Like, <laughs> about to put my toddler on my back at the gala. The shoes are cool. I like the details on the shoes. CL and Alexander Rang. Okay, again, don't know who this person is, but I actually really like this. I like the denim. Don't know how she kept this on the whole night, but I think it's kind of cool. The hair looks cool. I like the winged eye, the denim. I don't know, it's a vibe. Kendall Jenner and Givenchy. I see a reoccurring theme of like this sort of nude look with like, jewelry almost just all over the body it looks pretty cool Gigi Hadid okay she looked like she just stepped out of space Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello um first of all Shawn where's your shirt <laughs> and also why is he wearing two belts he's wearing no shirt two belts and a suspender and then his uh necklace got all these shapes on it <laughs> It's like one of those toys you give those you, those toddlers and they put those different shapes on the string Camila I like the purple the purple looks really cool. Um, it's not, you know, the craziest thing we've seen at the Met Gala, but they, they look fine. Oh, Winnie Harlow. Okay, this is actually really cool. Uh, I like how it's almost like an illusion, and I like how it's like, I don't know, it kind of it kind of goes with her vitiligo a little bit. Simone Biles, okay. Um, that's really, I like her outfit. Okay, the hair looks really good. Um, I can already tell that's probably very heavy. I like the star like look kind of giving me, you know, star spangled banner vibes. I like how it's silver. I kind of like it. Oh my god. <laughs> That scared me. This is Kim Kardashian. First of all, okay, I have a lot of questions. I saw this on Twitter a lot. Um, one, how do you see? Two, how do you breathe? Three, how did she get into that? Uh, four. How does she get out of that? Um, I swear she looked like a mannequin. I still see your shadows in my room. She looked like she just scrolled up to the Met Gala dressed like a ninja. What what was the what was the goal? This is also taking COVID procedures to a whole nother level. <laughs> she is covered from head to toe. How did they know that that was Kim Kardashian when she stepped out the car? Like, did she step out the car with the mask on her face, or did she do a a change where she? put the mask on. <laughs> I just have a lot of questions about this look. The hair looks very long. How do you not accidentally step on it? I don't know if she's trying to make a statement. I'm actually really not sure. But anyways, oh my God, who is this? <laughs> Erica Badu. Okay, so I don't know if this is just a COVID thing or if she just, okay, there's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of decades here. We have the poodle purse, the astronaut dome around her head but then not only that she's wearing a hat underneath the dome she's giving me like johnny depp pirates of the caribbean with the <laughs> whatever outfit she's wearing and the shoes also are giving me pirate vibes those are cool shoes though Th there's a lot of stuff happening here why is there like three time periods on her at once this is little baby. This man really just came stomping in his Air Force Ones to the Met Gala. So here's Frank Ocean. This is also another thing I saw on Twitter. Why is he holding a baby? Where did he get this baby? It looks like a demon. Oh my God. It looks like, remember Toy Story 4? That creepy doll in that antique shop? Shop. That is what this is giving me. Why is it dressed like that too? Why is he carrying this like little Shrek baby demon around <laughs> his outfit like honestly his outfit in and of itself is not that crazy it's just why is he holding this baby that's just what i want to know oh this is olivia rodrigo i actually saw her look because i saw her vogue video i think this is kind of interesting i do like the top though like i like how it's like you know like <laughs> i was gonna say dog like that does not sound good but like i like the fur at the top i think her hair works with this outfit 
I like the makeup. I like the earrings. I know them. Those hurt. Jennifer Lopez really went with this whole Wild West. She looks like Indiana Jones, but make it sexy. She got the fur around her shoulders. This fabric looks like she just, you know, mauled a bear. It's just, you know, a lot going on here. Is that a belt around her neck? Lupita, first of all. A shout out to her hairstylist. I have no idea how you did that, but that looks really cool. Like her hair looks almost like clouds, like it's floating away. That looks really cool. First of all, Lupita always looks good. I like the denim vibes. That's again, giving me very classic American. And then with like, you know, the peep of like, you know, um, metallic underneath in the shiny material. I like that contrast. Uh, I think she looks good. Lupita always looks good. Melanin is always popping. Gabrielle Union. First of all, I don't know what this material is, but it looks so cool. Oh, AOC. I saw this. I saw this on Twitter. Tax the rich. <laughs> Just straight, that's a very AOC move. I, I'm here for it. Amanda Stenberg. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. It's a lot happening here. Again, this is like a lot of time periods at once. This is giving me kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean meets, you know, circus meets high fashion. I can't quite say if I like it, but she looks interesting. <laughs> A man less stunning though, as always. Ooh, Chloe and Hal- Okay, they just straight up came to stunt. I thought that was a turkey on his head. And why is he wearing skiing gloves? Why is there so much happening here? Is that Tracy Ellis Ross? Okay, girl, I'm, I, you have, you've had better looks. It's, this is not my favorite, the bangs. It's giving me kind of Dora the Explorer. Ooh, Aisha and Steph Curry. I like the piece he has on the side of his suit. That looks really cool. I like how they look good together. Okay, this is very giving me red, white, and blue. This was like, this person read the theme and went straight for it. Um, <laughs> Appreciate that attention to actually following the theme. Okay, she's literally wearing a horse. Oh, wow. Iman and Dulce Gabbana. That looks so cool. I really like that look. I like how she looks like regal. You definitely can't miss her on the red carpet. How did she get into the car with that? Where do you store that? <laughs> how did you ship that for so they can get ready? Like what? I'm wondering. Ooh, Storm Reed. Oh, she looks good. Come up with a leg piece. I really like the combination of the red and black and then also the pink. Like I wouldn't think to put pink in like a red and black combo look, but it looks really good. And then the makeup also brings it together. Her hair also looks really good. I didn't know that she cut her hair, but she looks real good. Why does she have a sword? Oh my God. <laughs> I, what? Okay, this looks like Loki just came from a Comic-Con, a LARP. Uh <laughs> Did a cosplay real fast. <laughs> Naomi Osaka. Okay, she, okay, first of all, hair people, how did you do that? It's giving me a lot of different like punk rock meets kind of, it's giving me kind of like Japanese vibes. Is she, isn't she half Japanese? Yeah, so I believe she's half Japanese. It's kind of giving me those sort of vibes. And Corday on the left, literally he about to do an investigation. He's about to do, you know, oh, Dr. Strange who, Nancy Drew, you know, he's about to solve some sort of some sort of mystery, some crime. Those are the vibes I'm getting from this, this trench coat. Oh, here comes Lil Nas X. He had like three outfits. So this is his last one, which, um, we already know Lil, Lil Nas X is gonna look like he just, you know, walked out of um, three different dimensions. So we have, bro, he looks like R2-D2 or no, who's that homie from Star Wars? C-3PO, that's who he looks like. <laughs> then he has the so, the royal um gown on. So I think this is his first look where he's wearing like this cape, like looking like he's just, you know, came off the crown, just came out, you know, a monarch. Then he got the C-3PO cosplay underneath. And then last but not least, he has this jumpsuit, which I actually really like. I think he looks good in all of them. I don't know, it's very Little Nas X. Also, where do you store all these things? Like, did, how do you put that into his car to get here? Ooh, Yar Shahidi, she look good. She is giving me very old Hollywood chic. The nude mauve looks really good. Her makeup, I like her pop of, you know, like pink and reds there. And I like her little like swoop de swoop baby hair to the front. That looks good. We Chance the Rapper and Kristen Corley. Okay, she, why does Chance, why do you look like afraid? Oh, here's Billie Eilish with the whole Marilyn Monroe old Hollywood vibes. Kind of like an extension of her Vogue shoot she did earlier this year. I think she looks good. It's not like my favorite, my most favorite outfit. I'm not gonna lie. I, like but it's on theme and i think she she looks good oh my god what is happening who is this why is he wearing a scary mask Ooh, i like this outfit who is she 
Amanda Gorman and Vera Wang. That's pretty. I love her hair, the attention to detail. Love that color. It looks really good. It's giving me very prom <laughs> vibes, <laughs> but in a good way. I do like it. Anyway, so I literally just sat here for an hour and just talked about Met Gala looks. Um, I didn't go through all of them, but the ones that I started catching my attention, I just, you know, wanted to talk about for a little bit. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, well, let me know what is your favorite Met Gala look. I think my favorite, I really like Storm Reed's outfit. Um, Yara Shahidi looked really good. Uh, I liked the person with like the big like, uh, don't like what it was i don't even know what it was with the big circle on her head i also like the person at the beginning i think she was like native american or something but she was like in this like gold metallic jumpsuit i thought that was really cool lapita nyango looked really good those were like some of my favorites um and the ones i had the most questions about let's see uh frank ocean where did you get that demon shrek baby kim kardashian why the literal head to toe black so yeah comment below which was your favorite met gala looks and what were the ones that confused you the most um let's have a discussion Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this kind of random video. Um, I have no idea how this will even perform. But if you are interested in seeing more random videos, let me know in the comments. Uh, I had a video. There's a couple videos I actually filmed, but like never got to edit. Uh, like there's one where I talked about iCarly. And I also filmed a like vlog kind of for a vacation. I mean, my family took back in August. So if that's something you're interested in, maybe I'll post that. <laughs> I just really just don't want to edit these videos, but um, yeah, let me know if you are interested in seeing some more random experimental type of content that's not necessarily gaming because there are, I have filmed some stuff, haven't edited or posted them, and I'm wondering how often I should do these, should or should not. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed me talking about some random clothes today. My name is Ismara, and I will see you guys next time for a normal, um, probably gaming related video. <laughs> Bye y'all.